Welcome back everyone. Let's jump right into your seven day forecast, which is always a weekend forecast here on six news. So we're starting off today with nice clear skies. Now clear skies with a chilly start to the morning. You know what that means? The sun comes out and that's exactly what we're going to start to see. Temperatures are going to skyrocket a good 30 degrees from where they are right now. We're getting up into those 60s, but as we head toward the weekend, we have a relatively weak cold front coming in. That means we're going to start to see a little bit more atmospheric moisture come in alongside with some more cloud cover. A little bit of rain, but most of those chances are very small and they're just going to stay in the Brazos Valley more so toward the Houston area as opposed to the Bryan College Station region. But as a result of the increase in cloud cover, we're going to see daytime temperatures kind of just top out in those low 50s, and that's about it. Possibly getting into some freezing conditions heading into the weekend before a little bit more rain comes into the forecast. Look at that Monday, 50% for Central Texas, 60% for the Brazos Valley. This is another cold front. Of course, it's winter time. We're going to start to get cold front after cold front. This one's going to be more of a rainmaker than anything else. Then temperatures kind of steady and steady as we head into the middle of the week. Not a whole lot of activity coming up then. Right now, we've got high pressure sitting right over top of Central Texas. That means clear skies for today. Winds are going to stay relatively calm too, so that means you might have a little bit of frost on your windshield. I know I did, so you might have to scrape that off before you head into work early this morning. Feels like temperatures. Wow, yeah, it feels even colder than what the actual air temperature is. That's when you take into account the humidity as well as the small wind chills out there. 26 is what it feels like in Temple, Colleen, Marlin, 25 in Waco College Station. 37 is what it feels like. You know what? That's certainly on the warm side, if you could say 37's warm. School day forecast as you're heading into school or to work, we're going to start off cool, but it's going to be sunny, so that means temperatures are going to warm all the way up to that 60 degree mark. Wind staying relatively calm and very variable, 3 to 8 miles per hour, not going to affect us too much. Overnight tonight, basically expect a repeat of what we had this morning. Clear skies mean temperatures. They're going to be bottoming out in those mid 30s across all of Central Texas. Some frost is certainly going to be in the forecast, especially given the fact that the winds, well, they're coming out of the northeast. That means we're going to get more of that cooler air coming into our region, but it also means not these winds aren't going to be strong enough to move any kind of moisture out of the region. Jet stream. So. What we had, we had that cold front came through on Tuesday. A lot of that weather pushed out to the east. A lot of those cooler conditions out to the northeast. But notice this. Look at Dallas. We're seeing the jet stream not move at all, really. And that's because we get that cold front after cold front. You know what that means? Well, it means temperatures. They're not going to be changing at all over the next couple of days. Although the big change I do see is as we head into Friday noon, right around your lunchtime. Yeah, a little bit more cloud cover. Chance for some isolated sprinkles in the southern parts of the viewing area, but not really going to affect us all that much. So just keep that jacket handy because it's going to be chilly this weekend.